Hello everyone, welcome back to the BizQuest channel and I'm your host Amanda, I'm a digital business owner and today we're flying over to Sydney, Australia and our guest speaker for the day is someone who has a very, very, very big heart. I've, I've known her for less than a year but I have seen her several times uh, virtually online and she's always helpful and the biggest part that that moves me was that she she has a foster daughter and she is taking care of her full time and uh, her foster daughter really needs a lot of help. And for me, for someone who can unconditionally help other people is for me, it's it's worth praising because you know, we, we are all busy with our lives and we are, we wanted to have a good lives. And yet here's a person who has the extra capacity to love and support another human being. So for me, she has a very, very big heart. So please help me welcome our guest speaker for the day, Leanne Hurren. <laughs> oh my goodness. That Hello. was a beautiful introduction. Hello, everybody from Sydney, Australia. But Thank yes. You. Um, uh, well, I see your beauty in that, in everything that you do. And thank you so much for taking the time. So I know I gave the introduction a little bit of a teaser about your background, but I'm sure we're all dying to learn more about you. <laughs> thank you, Amanda. Yeah, folks, I'm from Sydney, Australia. I was um, been living in Sydney for 20 years from this small country town of Casino. No, it's not a gambling place. It's the town oh. called Casino. And um, yeah, and it's true. I'm a mom of four children and the youngest is a foster child. Um, I'm a grandmother as well of two and a half, almost a, a new, newborn. Um, and life is pretty full. Um, background in pediatric nursing and my husband's a pediatric emergency nurse. And I'm a coach and a mentor in this digital business. I've been doing this now almost four years in June mm. and loving it loving loving the journey it's great mm. awesome and then it doesn't look like you're a grandmother already i mean it's yeah. you're so young to become a drunk grandmother <laughs> and so um well um you so you have a very beautiful family you have got a a pediatric nurse it sounds to me is a stable job so what was the reason that you joined this or started this um, digital, digital business? Yeah, good question. So when my foster daughter came into our world, <laughs> um, I was nursing at the time and I so I retired yeah. from nursing to fully focus mm. my attention on her. Um, and it wasn't really, it's probably two years um, after being in that role, you tend to lose yourself when you're fully focused mm. on um, being the full-time carer for a child with high needs. You tend mm. to, everything else sort of goes to the side. So you can lose your friends, you can lose, you know, your old mm. way of being, your old lifestyle changes. Mm. And at, mm. at that point in time, I was thinking, oh, my goodness, you know, I was thinking about her future, um, mm. how she was going to provide for herself when she's old enough. And um, when my other children have got the ability to be creative and find their, their jobs and their, their business and professional you know whatever they want to do they they can do that but my youngest yes. needs help so i was looking I, was, I had that thought in my mind and i was scrolling on facebook one day and there was amy's ad and i thought wow you know this could be what i'm after yeah. something that was simple something that was flexible that i could teach the support workers to do with me i could set it up get it running make sure it was okay and by the time yeah. she's 18, she'll be able to step into a business and and run it. So that's that wow. was the plan. So um, plus, I like the extra benefits of being able to do it while I am a support worker for her um, mm -hmm. and, and being there for the rest of my family. I needed something that was flexible. And yeah. I can do that for I can do that around this crazy life that we have. So, yeah. Um, yeah and help other people and inspire people and share a bit of my life experience with other people at the same time. So win-win, so many wins. Um, correct, correct. And then, I mean, it's absolutely awe-inspiring that you 
started this business because of your foster daughter, like for the sole reason. <laughs> I mean, the, the original intention was to give your foster daughter a better future, a secure yeah. future. And, and, you know, that is another proof that you have a very, very big heart because you're always thinking for other people, not really exactly for oh, your own you. self. And so, so with that busy lifestyle, caring for some person, another person, and how much, I'm just curious, um, how much time do you actually devote um, in this business or do you spend this business? Um, so I'm sure our, our audience okay. would love to like it's so hard i know it's as a mom it's so hard to find that i actually love it so much it kind of weaves in and out of my day so i've actually had to look at how much time that i'm putting on there and hold myself back um and actually go you know what i need to do something else like that washing that's waiting needs to be done because i just i really do love the business so for me it's it's more than just work you know that saying mm. that if you love something so much, find find a job or a business that you love yeah. so much that it's not a chore, that, you know, you're feeling blessed and grateful just to be in that space, to be able to wake up in the morning, jump out of bed, have a purpose and a drive and go to it, you know. So yeah. that's what this business is for me. It um, Because oh, I'm feeling a bit emotional because it's given, given me so much back. It's given me confidence. Um, I, you know, I, I'm a lot kinder to myself um, oh, these days. I used to be so critical to myself. Oh, and, and this mm-hmm. business has taught me to be real and mm. it's okay to be who I am and that I have yes. got value yes. and I've got something to share with the world. It's not just with my family that I can, yeah. I have a voice. And, yes. and it's okay to learn and it's okay to be vulnerable yes. and it's okay to say, I want that and I am worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's changed a lot of mind mind um, set for me. So I've, yeah. you know, there's a lot of reasons for joining this business. It's just, whew, don't get me started. Yeah. Like, you know, like you'll rile me up. <laughs> Yes, and and I already I think you have already touched a lot of things that you like about this business. It gives you mm-hmm. that confidence. It allows you to become to become more of who you are and to accept yourself as you are, and mm-hmm. you are able to uh, flexibly manage this business around your daily uh, activities without um, sacrificing your your time with your foster daughter. Wow, that's a mm-hmm. lot. Like that's a mouthful of benefits that you love. Um, if there is one thing, one thing that you like on top of everything that you have mentioned a while ago, is there anything particular that you like the most? Yes, the international aspect. Mm. I, I really love multicultures, and Australia is a very multicultural country. Yes. But to be able to connect with people like yourself from the other side of the world um, mm. and actually just get to know you, get to know what your life, your daily lifestyles like seeing your day through your eyes Mm. learn about the foods that you like um like building up a relationship it's like i've got family all over the world now my mentoring group covers france like i've never been to france before france canada new zealand papua new guinea solomon islands australia so i'm i'm learning south africa just yeah, yeah south africa do you know like it I feel like I'm traveling and I haven't left my house yes. I, and I'm traveling I'm seeing a part of the world so that culture the enrichment of meeting new people and hearing their experiences and knowing that what I give to those people is benefiting their life and mm. getting them one step closer to their goals as well so mm. it's like oh, I'm winning yeah I'm winning through the relationships and um so when we start to travel that's my goal yeah um and meet these people it'll be like they're my family so we're yeah. we'll be able to explore their part of the world together so that's that's the best part of the business that i love 
Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And you're you're already learning more about the other country and the other culture, right? Before the actual traveling experience. Yeah. Which, and, and you already have friends. You have already established friends all over the world. And so when you visit a new country, it's it doesn't seem new to you. I mean, it, it's more like a familiar, something familiar yeah. to you. Yes, yes that's, that's true. Yeah. Thanks, and so I'm sure with all businesses, <laughs> there is that reality. I mean, it's, oh, it's yeah. I mean, it, I haven't heard of any business that, that, that didn't or business owner that didn't encounter any challenges. So for you yeah. personally, what was the challenge that you encountered? I think for me, when I first came into the business, I had this degree of skepticism mm. and like I was, it's that nursing, you know, you're a detective. When you're a nurse, you're a detective, you're putting all the pieces together, working mm. out what works, what doesn't work, what's true, what is not true, you know, mm. like <clears throat> trying to work it out. And I, I think I was waiting for the catch. I was, mm. you know, I was looking and thinking there's got to be catch here. This can't be all that they say it is. So um. there was this little bit of time where it was like, you know, instead of really getting into the to the business and really learning my skills and that, I was kind of being this detective Leanne waiting for the, you know, the catch to come out and grab me. Um, mm. So that was a challenge for myself to realise, you know what, this business is what they say it is. Jump mm. on in and just get to it. So that was the first challenge that I had. The second yeah. challenge that I had was myself. My, mm. I just had to overcome my shyness. I was really mm -hmm. shy. I hated looking at myself in the mirror, would you believe? So if we had a Zoom, I'd like try to hide or, um, you know, so I had to get over this whole self-conscious rubbish um, and get used to seeing myself in the, in the mirror. Um, so that was a challenge for me. But you know, thank goodness I overcome that and allowed myself to be vulnerable enough to learn and just yeah. to try new skills. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. ask questions. I really didn't, I didn't really understand how to ask the questions I needed to get the results hmm. I wanted. Hmm. That's, so, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So going back to what you mentioned a while ago on on skepticism i think that that definitely stalled you a lot of time stole a lot of time from you instead of going all in and doing everything that needs to be done for this business you kind of yeah. waited so those those time were kind of not really wasted but it's like giving yourself the time to just oh, believe because I, I i guess that's that's that, that's the thing you know it's it takes time to build trust and it takes time to build yeah. belief and, but yeah. then once you have that belief going in and then you're just all in. Yeah, I think it was going from this could work. It seems to be working for other people, but could it work for me? And yeah. it was just like this information that's in your head and yeah. then living the experience and then letting it drop to my heart yes. and realising, yes, this is for me. Um, yeah. So I think that was the challenge, going through that process. Yeah. But if you can go through that process really quickly, then that's great. I think you'd awesome. be better for it. <laughs> so was there, was there a point where it's like, how did you manage to um, finally believe it? Like it's just through time yeah. or is it just, is, did anything happen that, uh, that allowed you to make that shift? Um, oh, gosh, was there a pivotal point definitely getting um sales in your business and the seeing the results mm. for sure mm. that definitely seals the deal but you know mm. what i think what really um that really made a difference for me when i realized that i could help other people to get the results mm. that they want mm. and seeing the change in their their lives um mm. and when I when I did my business, when I started my business, I went a whole year without telling my I didn't really tell my friends and family about it too much because mm. I wanted to prove that it wasn't a scam, right? Yeah. So if it was a scam, I'd got myself involved in it and it was on my shoulders. So I didn't yes. really want to discuss too much with my friend, family and friends. Now my best friend, when she joined, mm. she was going through a really hard time. 
and she was really struggling and she'd really lost herself with, with you know, mm. life was hard for her. Mm. Watching her journey from the day that she decided to do the business, mm. even one year, she got her zest for life back. Hope was wow. back in her life. The sparkle was back. You know, yeah. and to see other people's transformation just because they're in the community, yeah. they're hanging out with people who are very positive, who have a can-do attitude, let's see what happens. It hasn't yes. happened yet, but it's going to happen because the thing is this business system is set out step by step and if you follow the program and just don't quit, it's going to happen for you and it's just Correct. a matter of time. And just to yeah. see those things happening for people all around the world is yeah. life-changing. It really is, you know, it's just amazing. It's, it's an amazing feeling, yeah, it's, um, being able to help people. So I guess because you have seen, personally seen, and that you could offer value through this business, that you could help change life, change people's lives through this business, then that's a time that it kind of makes sense that, or, or finally that you can finally believe that this business is actually for you. This is something that you could do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's it's like it's a vehicle and it, it's up to you. It's a tool that you can use. You can follow yes. the step step by step and put it into action. There's no use, there's no use like just having it in your hand and not using it, right? Yes. So yes. you've got to put it yes. into action. Yes. So you start putting you're it into right. action and you start seeing the results and you just can't help but share those results with other people because you it's crazy. It's crazy good. Yeah. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. And it's yes. the ripple effect that keeps on going. Like yes. it's just, yeah. Yeah. You know, you I, love, I love that you're able to extend all of this conversation that means because you have already, that means that you're, I can sense and feel and hear your passion towards this business and the benefits yeah. that you have received out of this business. And from your, from what you have shared a while ago, you don't look shy to me at all, at all. <laughs> and so congratulations for overcoming all those challenges and, Thanks, and man. you're saying about asking the right questions. And I love that you have brought that up because this is actually a community where he could ask questions. Um, yeah. And I guess it's, um, was it a challenge for you to um, uh, reach out to people or is it like fi figuring out the exact or the right questions to ask? I didn't, yeah, I didn't know what the questions were that I needed to ask. Um, I didn't know what did I need to do to get me from here to here? Like hmm. what is the question that I need to ask you? Yeah. What? So how did you and ask, then, like how did you develop well, those right questions? Yeah, well, the way I did that was hanging around the people that were asking the questions. Ah. Because smart. that's the beauty of when you come together in a forum of like-minded people and we're yeah. all working on similar goals to achieve yeah. to the next step, yeah. then you're listening to their own questions. So yeah. you're learning through other people. So it's that mm. collective thing. Yeah, got, got it, got it. That's a smart way. Surround yourself with the right people and the right questions will come exactly. up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Good so, yes, what was the biggest transformation that you have received or at least like a very obvious transformation that you have received in this business? The most obvious, like I'm a coach in the business now. Um, so yes. from this small little, I called myself a city bumpkin, country bumpkin cross city slicker. You know, um, have you ever heard those terms or is that an Australian no. thing? It must be an Australian no. thing. <laughs> um, look, I really, the way I see myself, my own self-development is by far the biggest transformation I can really share. Um, and, you know, you said that you don't see me as I was a shy person. But perhaps inside, I, I'm not a shy person. I just held myself back. Mm. I was afraid to be vulnerable enough to allow my voice to, to speak out, to allow my light yeah. to shine to others because I didn't want to offend anybody. So, and I, yeah. I thought 
I being who I was, I was more of an offense than being helpful. Mm. And then when mm. I realized I actually have value, I have value mm. and I am worth it. Yeah, and and I am worth it to invest in my life and my daughter's life, my daughter's future. So that for me by far is the biggest transformation, the self-development um, yes. for sure. And when you're leading with your heart yes. and you have integrity in what you're doing, good things are just going to come from that. Mm. You know, you mm. I say you can't outgive God, you know, because when you when you give, you receive. And you know what? You can try to out, outgive the give up, but it's not going to happen. Yes. Yes. That's, first of all, beautiful transformation. I mean, it's like this is the place where you could actually f uncover yourself. Like, you know, perhaps what we were used to be isn't exactly who we are. It's probably just a mask that we use to yeah. you know, protect ourselves or just to a persona that you want the world to show, but it's not really... Uh, connecting with our soul or with our heart it's not who we truly are but with this business yeah. um, from your own testimony and personal experience it's managed to allow you to take off those masks and just yeah. simply present yourself as who you are and it's beautiful you are. As a, yeah. it's beautiful and worth it i love that you have mentioned the word worth it like not a lot yeah. of people actually firmly firmly believe it in their heart that they are worth it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. And so thank you so much with all of those sharing. Is there any words or advice for our audience to take away for, for the day? Yeah. Let's just continue on with that theme. But, you know, you are worth it. Now, just look in that mirror, in the camera right there. You are worth it. If you have an inkling in your heart right now that you want to check this out, do yourself a favor, a huge favor. Check in for the free complimentary webinars. Do your research. Jump on in. Find out the information. And if you have this feeling in your heart that this could be for you, take action. It is an incredible, incredible program. And I really do wish you well. And there is a whole world waiting for you to discover. Um, yes. And I just love the fact that we've connected, Amanda. And I just know that I'll be meeting you face to face one day and yes. sharing a bit of either our world or your world. Um, but guys, check out this digital business. Seriously, you've got nothing to lose. Everything, everything, everything to gain. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. And I, I believe every every single one of us is truly worth it to have a beautiful life, to be able to provide for our family and to do things that we absolutely love in our life. So if you, as, yeah. as Leanne mentioned, if you have any desire or that inner voice telling you to um, explore this opportunity, feel free to register in this is page. The other way. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so once again, thank you, Leanne, for your time. And you've been generous and gracious with your time. Yes. And thank you for sharing your lovely story. And I hope you get more success in this business so that you could build the life that you want, the, the security that you want for your foster thank daughter you. as well. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. And thank you. yes. And to my audience, I hope you had a, a inspiring Tuesday morning from this channel. And I hope to see you again in the future with more inspirational stories from people around the world. So I'll see you next time till we meet again. Bye. Okay.